welcome to quick learning today we are going to learn uh, another transaction that we use for multiple purposes like to create CRMs to transfer materials to cancel some document to create some uh, document etc that transaction is called Migo Migo transaction is started by just writing MIGO in our main tab uh, we will write Miko here and you will see this new window will appear in front of you so here we will we will just uh, have a look what are the available options and how to proceed for these for example here on the left side for, uh, these are the two main tabs which give us the option that what are the uh, functions that we are going to take through this transaction so first here we have good receipt other is transfer posting then cancellation good issuance return of delivery remove from storage release gr blocked stock place in storage to display adjustment and delivery so these almost uh, 11 options are available in this transaction so the other adjacent is uh, relevant to the first selected option for example if i selected good received then here we have multiple options for the good receipt. It is inbound delivery, material document, order, purchase order, reservation, transport, transport ID. So these all are the options for good receipt. Similarly for transfer posting, uh, we will see that there are these four options available for transporting material document, other purchase order and reservation. For example, if we I want to proceed through material document what I will have to do is I will have to write this material document here and when I, I will press enter the all the details of that material document will be visible here so in this way we will use the transfer posting material document option same goes for purchase order reservation etc so coming down we have cancellation so in this cancellation uh, you we will see we have only one option that is material document this transaction this option is used to cancel some document that we have already posted in system so this is the purpose of cancellation then going down we have <coughs> goods issue to issue some goods and for goods issue we have these options available five document through material document through the order through other re reservation and purchase order so for the issuance of goods we can use these types or these options for this good issue so going down we will see now goods return delivery so for return delivery we will see what options are available uh, return delivery we have delivery note if we want to return some delivery and we want to track it based upon its delivery note then this is the delivery note option and other is the material document if we know exactly the material document number then we can just write the material document number here and we will have this uh, uh, option of the return delivery similarly going next then we can check remove from storage if we want to remove some item or items from storage then we will use remove from storage in this we have two options number one is material document if we have some material document that have fixed uh, line items of materials that are available at some place we will just write that material document number and all the items present in that document will be visible here in this window and then we can we can do it one by one by selecting the quantity and other things so if we don't have material document number and we have simple the material codes then we will use the other option when you use other option this window is editable now we will just write our material codes here their quantity their storage location their plant the movement type and then those material documents will be automatically removed from the storage so we have gone through a lot of these for example let's let's check another this display this display is you will be used just to get the details of items or the uh, the, uh, the quantities and the other things of particular material document or only for material document for example if we have a material document and we don't know what it is about so because in multiple options we just needed to check the contents of some material document so we will use this display option in Miko 
we will write the material document number here and we will enter this and then we will be able to see all the items their quantities plant soil location batch movement type etc for that uh, particular material document number so i hope this video will have been very useful for all of you for any question you can just write in the comments tab uh, until next time bye bye